Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerJube, and welcome back to our Gartner Bam Bam character concept series. So in today's video, the character we're looking into is Nabbles. So we'll go into this character's backstory, location, gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. As always, I would just say that this is not linked to the overall universe and lore of Gartner Bam Bam. This is just a fun what-if scenario, and a cool creepy story we get to tell, and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GamerJube as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with the videos that we post. Also, do be sure to leave a like on this video as we might be doing another character live stream very soon in the near future, so do be sure to like and stay tuned. Alrighty everyone, well let's get into the character concept of Nabbles. So previously in our Gartner Bam Bam character concept series, we've been following our main character as they try to survive Bam Bam's kindergarten. So far they've encountered a number of strange looking mascot characters. The last mascot they came up against was Mr. Chomps an angry shark that wanted to take a bite out of the player. In the end, they got the best of Mr. Chomps and escaped in one piece. But now they'll face a new character altogether. Well, at least they're somewhat new. The player has met both of these characters before. But now they've become something entirely new. So in Bam Bam Chapter 3, we see Nab Nab and Nab Nalina get united and become a pair. But what happened to the two spider-like creatures after they met? Some would think the two of them lived happily ever after. This would have been perfect for Nab Nab and would have totally cured his loneliness. Although Nab Nab and Nan Nalina were close with each other, they got a lot closer than anyone would have ever thought. No one knew they were capable of what they could do. Especially the scientists and the workers who brought them to life with the Javanium experiments. So Nab Nab and Nan Nalina both fused together and made a giant cocoon. They had been in this dormant state for quite a while now. Who knows what the two of them would emerge to be? But after all this time, we finally find out. And the one who would see them firsthand would be the main protagonist. Speaking of, we now return to the player as they make their way through the kindergarten. After roaming around for a while, they find themselves in a strange maze. This maze has many winding corridors and seems like it goes on forever. Throughout there would be a couple of empty rooms. There didn't seem to be much use for these rooms, but who knows, maybe they held a certain purpose. As they wander through the maze, they come across something quite strange. What is this thing? It looks to be a cocoon of some sort. You know, like the ones caterpillars make to form into a butterfly. The only concerning thing is that this cocoon is already empty. Whatever was inside of it has crawled out and freed themselves. Wherever this strange mysterious creature is now is anyone's guess, but the player didn't want to wait around and find out. So after exploring the maze a little more, they eventually come across the exit. The only downside was that it was locked. To unlock the exit, the player needs to find and activate three remote switches. This maze must have been a testing area for some of the mascot creatures. And now the player has found themselves being the test subject instead. So the player needs to figure out where each of the switches... What on earth is that thing? Is that what crawled out of the cocoon? And is that Nab Nab? Or is it Nab Nalina? Wait, no. In fact, it was a combination of both. They had both fused together to create Nabbles. Their twisted new body was a combination of both characters and they shared both their features. Nabbles started charging towards the player. The player starts running and the chase was on. The player runs through all the twisting corridors and desperately tries to locate these switches. But first, they need to get rid of Nabbles. As the player runs, they come up with a plan. They can use the dark empty rooms to lose Nabbles. All they need to do is lead Nabbles into the room and loop around them and shut the door behind them. This won't hold Nabbles forever, but it will give the player enough time to get to one of the switches. The player finally locates the first switch. They activate it with their drone and move on to the next one. Nabbles has freed themselves from the room and starts chasing the player once again. They'll always be chasing the player on a loop. If the player runs into them again, they'll have to lose them in another one of the dark empty rooms. But luckily the player locates the second switch. 
This time the switch is protected by lasers. The player would have to press a switch and a timer would start. The lasers turn off and they would need to quickly use their drone to press the button. Now all that's left to do is find the last switch. But Nabbles will be roaming around outside looking for the player. And when the player is looking for the last switch, Nabbles would move around even faster than before. But luckily for the player, they were able to avoid Nabbles and get to the final switch. This time they need to press three buttons in the correct order. When they finally get the right order, the exit unlocks. Finally, the player is free to leave. All they gotta do now is get out of here in one piece. As they rush through the corridors, Nabbles takes notice of them. Nabbles once again starts charging after the player. The player quickly runs through the exit, but Nabbles also makes it through. The player needs to lose Nabbles or else they'll chase them forever. As they keep running, they locate another room. They rush into the room, and so does Nabbles. In this room are another set of lasers. Maybe the player can use them to their advantage. So in this final gameplay segment, the player needs to lure Nabbles over to the lasers. Once they are in the correct position, they would need to activate them. So after looping around the room and trying to get them to line up with the lasers, it finally happens. At the last second, the player throws the switch and the lasers cut straight through Nabbles. Both sides get split in half and the strangest thing happens. Both sides of Nabbles sprout arms and legs and crawl away together. They crawl right past the player and don't even notice them. It seems like even when separated, Nab Nab and Nab Nalina's bond is still very strong. Regardless, the player is safe now, and they can make it to the next area. But who knows what they'll encounter next? Hopefully it wouldn't be anything as quick and dangerous as Nabbles. But as if that'll be the case, we'll just have to wait and see. Alrighty everyone, well that's what we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribing, as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, do be sure to let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of Nabbles and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one, bye.